Let's talk about movies because mm -hmm. yeah. this is getting some some buzz, and it's all because Adam Sandler is getting Oscar yeah. buzz. So yeah. Why is that shocking to us? Well, Adam Sandler uh, is at Cannes uh, Film Festival. If you don't know what that is, huge film festivals. A lot of the major, not box office movies, mm -hmm. but nominated movies yeah. premiere at Cannes. So the movie is titled The Merowitz Stories parentheses, new and selected. It's starring Dustin Hoffman, Ben Stiller, Emma Thompson, and Adam Sandler. And okay. he's getting Oscar buzz from this. It's a drama. It's not the the, the typical sticky comedy movie that we see Adam Sandler in. Because right. now he does have a Netflix deal, an eight movie deal. He's just been pumping out these just goofy comedy movies. Yeah. And he's been doing that before the Netflix deal. But it's right now rated 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, Rotten Tomatoes, if you care, it's usually pretty dead on. So, so 89, 89, 89 is good. Reference. Yeah, yeah if, it, if a movie is good and Rotten Tomatoes it has it at a, a top percent, it's usually right on track. Let's just compare Baywatch coming in at like 16%. Oh, so, so, okay, there you go. so just the wow. Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes really is yeah. credible. Yeah. So the, the buzz is now people are confused because People don't really see Adam Sandler in this light. When you think of Adam Sandler, you think of the wedding singer, Big Daddy, but happy Gilmore. People yeah. don't really consider him like a drama star, and I'm not surprised at all. Everybody was surprised. I'm not surprised because, and when you think about comedians, comedians win Oscars. Yeah. And Murphy was nominated for an Oscar for his role in Dream Girls. Robin mm -hmm. Williams, Whoopi Goldberg, Monique won an Oscar. Jamie Foxx. Like yeah. comedians, when it comes to drama, they bring it. So I'm not surprised. So at I'm, all. Do you see so, this as a trend right now? As, as far as the com like comedians? Well, going no. more on the dark side. Like, they're not taking the comedic role because you're so used to seeing Adam Sandler. I don't know. I just feel like I I haven't seen anything from Adam, Adam Sandler in a while. So why now? Which is a good thing. I mean, for him, maybe he's been, you know, this is what's been brewing. But her, for him to take a darker approach, I think is cool because I've never been a Happy Gilmore Productions mm -hmm. fan. Caesar's mm -hmm. all about those movies. I'm like, it's just not my comedy. Yeah. It's just not my sticky thing. The one-liners. The one-liners. Yeah. But I, I can't wait to see him in this darker role. So yeah, I don't I'm know. just wondering if we're going to see more. I think, I, it, to me, it just seems like a natural progression yeah. in acting for, for comedy actors. Because yeah. Kristen Wiig does good drama as well and Kristen Wiig is a, a comedic actor. I just think of SNL when I think yeah, of but and Chris, the hands. She can really take it there so yeah. I think that's just the natural progression of you know, the career. Jim Carrey funny Ace Ventura pet detective then he did uh, Man on the Moon mm -hmm. right. the Truman mm -hmm. Show won Truman Golden Show. Globes he was never nominated for an Oscar but he did win two Golden Globes so and the thing that it's I think thing. is interesting too with Adam Sandler, because he always does play the comedic role, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what he gets cast in, you know, but that doesn't it's necessarily mean that's the right, only some point. thing he can do. Um, I know as an actor, you clearly have to have a probably breadth of different things. That Versatility, you can do. Yeah. right. So I, I'm excited to see it. I agree with you though that, you know, having all of the Oscar buzz around this person. Is it surprising? I guess because of the roles that he's played. Yeah. But I also think, you know, if Rotten Tomatoes is calling it a great movie, then anyone associated with the movie is probably going to yeah. have some Oscar buzz around. And him. think about it. Dustin Hoffman, Emma Thompson, Ben Stiller. Like the cast is pretty it's, stacked. Yeah. It's not like him and a bunch That's of like no names. You're like, okay, this is real. Yeah. No, no I'm sick. excited to see it, and especially being premiered at Cannes. Mm -hmm. Like, that's that's a big deal. Yeah. Everyone waits to see, like, what's going to come after that? And then, yeah. of course, I know we're ahead of Oscar season, but no, it starts now because what Oscars usually come around February, March. So exciting, yeah. exciting.